Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium and Channel. Blog Talk is up and running again. So excited for that. If you would like to call in and ask a question, the call in number is 845-277-9131. Let me slow that down. <clears throat> 845-277-9131 is the call-in number on Blog Talk. If you're watching live on YouTube, you can post a question in the chat. I will be going between Blog Talk and between the call-in and the um, chat answering questions. And as you know, if you're new here, welcome. But if you're returning, I start every show by giving a few announcements. First and foremost, please don't get scammed. I will never, ever, ever reach out to you um, and tell you you need anything or to do anything. That's, that's never going to happen. So please don't be scammed by imitators. Second, um, yeah, okay. I'm just going to go with, I'm, I'm not going to do first, second, and third because apparently that just throws me way off. Um, this show does air live on WSCS, all of their streaming channels and their, um, their uh, affiliate channels. It airs live on Rude Rangers TV and all of their streaming channels, radio stations, and podcasts. And every podcast I put it on also. So uh, if you want to catch the show live, you can go to any of those spaces and catch it live also. I am running a program, a six-week program. This program is the SELF program. It is every week we do a session. It's a guided session to help heal um, your self, your core, your being. It could be your self-respect, your self-confidence, your self-love, self-esteem. Every week we pick a different one. It started this past Saturday and the first one was self-confidence. So next Saturday is week number two. We will be picking a different uh, self and healing that. Okay, I'm going to go to songs first because I'm hearing I should do songs. The song could be some a song you know or your loved one knew or loved. The song could be answering a question that you've been asking yourself. Okay, the first song is... Um, let it be, oh, let it be, let it be, let it be. Something words of wisdom, let it be. I love that. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love it. The next song is um, Woman, Let Me Explain. Oh, I wish I could think of the rest of the words to that. I never meant to cause you sorrow or pain. I can hear it in my mind. It's like there's, I, I'm trying to, if you know, you know. Here's what I say about the songs. When I sing it or say the verse, you're going to know if this is your song because you'll know it. You'll know if it's the answer to your question or whatever it is that you're looking for. The next song is, um, I can't, I can't hear the words, but they're just showing me like in the 60s and a bunch of peace signs um, being, a bunch of people in peace signs being up, okay? Um, the next song, I'm only going to do two more songs. The next song is um, Santiago. And I don't know what that means. That could be a name or it could be a song. And then the next one is uh, that song going, we're going to the chapel and we're gonna get married. 
that song. Okay, that's all for the songs today. If you are calling in, again, the call in number is 845 277 9131. If you have a question, please make sure you push the one on your keypad so your hand is raised in the um, call log and I know you have a question. Otherwise, I assume you're just listening via your phone. Okay, I'm going to go to the first caller who is 519. 519, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Jennifer from Canada. Hey, Jennifer. How are you today? Good. How are you doing? I'm excellent. Thank you so much. How can I help you today? Um, I currently am in a relationship. I've been in it for quite some time. And do you see, um, like back to the uh, going to the chapel song, <laughs> do you see getting married or <laughs> is, it, is it just going to run it for us? Um, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, you know, if I, I have to ask this in a couple of different ways because I'm the, the main thing I'm getting is, um, what that song, what you want. I think that's baby, you got it. What you need. Uh, that song, uh, oh, a little respect. Uh, that song is coming through. So, and the message I was getting as you were asking is basically, uh, Jennifer, what you want in this situation, you're going to get, you might not get it in the timing you want it and make sure you want it to want it, not because it's the next step. So sometimes we really want something because we think this is the way it's supposed to be, or this is how we're supposed to uh, do things or, okay, I want to, I want to marry this person, but then when it comes down to it, it's like, oh, well, huh, that was that was kind of easy. Or, oh, huh, I don't, I don't know if this is what I really want now. So they're just saying, make sure it's, A, make sure it's what you want. B, be patient in the timing of it. But if you do want this, be clear about the fact this is the goal. It, the timing can be uh, uh, can flow a little bit, but this is the goal. Okay. Now I always say to people, okay. we can make any relationship work depending on how much we're willing to put up with or what we're willing to sacrifice. In this case, I don't feel like that'll be the case. You just get a case of the boredoms very quickly and easily. So you need to make sure that the person you're with is open to doing things out of the normal, not like, like just not, not on repeat, like that you and this person can take adventures or do exciting new things, or not all the time, but once in a while. Otherwise you will get very bored with this and want to not be in it. And one, just one quick other thing. When people get married, sometimes they figure, okay, the deal is done. I don't have to worry about this anymore. It's in a nice tight little box. You have to make sure that that's not the case also for both of you and that you're still going out and doing adventures and having fun and keeping it um, so it's not uh, same thing, different day sort of thing. Okay, Jennifer, that's what I have for you. Yeah, thank you very much, Tony. Have a great day. Oh, you are so welcome. You are so very welcome. Okay, I'm going to go to the chat now and I'm going to ask answer a question. So I started to answer it in the chat and then I realized the answer was going to be a little bit too long to finish answering it in the chat. So somebody asked me if them and their person, <clears throat> I'm going to try to go back up a bit. Um... Uh, there's a lot of messages here. Uh, first name. I'm just going to try to find the original. If they were going to work out. And the, the the answer that I gave was, I think, uh, what? Do, yeah, I said there. this person's in another place. Um, meaning maybe emotionally or mentally right now. And the response that that I got was, 
lots of karma, communication issues, push-pull. He has childhood wounds, trauma, unhealed. I keep feeling he's going to work on it this month. I keep feeling he's going to work on it this month, um, have an awakening. And then the next message says, and that and this is the last message I'm going to read, and then I'm going to give my response. There's such a deep love between us, having a hard time getting and keeping centered, grounded in letting things be as they are. There's a lot. And I'm going to tell you something for her, her, her name on YouTube is first name. There are a lot of people in this dynamic. And we can meet somebody and have great chemistry and great love for them. But I'm going to ask a question of everybody in this dynamic where you see someone and you're looking at their childhood wounds and thinking they need to be fixed. And you're not going to like this answer. You're really not. And I, 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 but it is the best answer I can give. You don't see this person as whole. You don't see this person as your perfect partner. Now, either you have a lack of faith that your perfect partner can come and there is a, a good partner for you out there who's already what you want them to be, or you think partners are like real estate investments that you're getting fixer uppers. When you get into a relationship with someone, even if you, you know, obviously you care about them, but then you start seeing these things and you start attributing it to childhood wounds. And that may be true. We're all wounded from our childhood. Most of us, I, I don't know anyone who has gone through a beautiful, perfect, unscathed childhood. Not even Paris Hilton went through an unscathed childhood. Now this person that you are referring to has had other partners who have probably been in your shoes and thought, I can help him. I can fix him. He's right on the cusp of having a breakthrough. The breakthrough he may be having is breaking out of this and into something else. I'm not speaking for you specifically. But what I am going to say is when there's communication issues, push-pull, and what else was there? I'm going to say this. I'm not diagnosing anyone, but I am going to say this. Uh, communication, push-pull, uh, childhood trauma, wounds, unhealed. Um, those are all some of the key marks of a narcissist or a, an unhealthy, toxic person. But at the very least, if this person knows these issues exist and feel like they're a, part, a problem, this person has to take the initiative and get whatever therapy, counseling, hypnosis they are comfortable with to work on it because an awakening is not going to do it. An awakening, this person is not going to have an epiphany moment that changes everything about them and the way they communicate and the way they stay in or out of relationships. And this is the, for those of us who meet people and fall in love with damaged I don't want to call them damaged, but people who have wounds that have not been healed in our opinion, in our opinion, because they're out there functioning perfectly according to them and to the level they want to, because when it becomes a problem to them, they will take a step and they will fix it. 
it's not a problem to them. It's a problem to us. They're getting everything they want by behaving and acting in this way. And believe me, this is something they have honed since childhood. This is something they have learned in their childhood to survive whatever they went through or to get away with whatever they wanted to get, however you want to look at it. I'm, I'm looking at, you know, I'm not being cruel either. I'm not being cruel. Please don't think I'm being cruel. The truth of the matter is when something no longer works for a person, they will seek help. But as long as it's working, they will keep using it. And we know that as people, we do the same thing. If something is working for us, if, if we, as a, as a good looking woman, if you can walk in and bat your eyelashes and, and get a drink, you're going to do that. When that no longer works, you might start improving something or use a new method. But the, the point of the, when it no longer works is when we start to fix it. And that was maybe not the best analogy, but it's getting the point across that people do what works until it doesn't work. And then they have a choice. They can work on themselves or they can start working on another person. If they choose to work on themselves while you are with them, you may not even like that person once they're better because now what do you work on? It's not the person you fell for. So one of the things I would say is we have to understand first and foremost, why did we become so attached to this person? Why did we pick someone or choose to be with someone that is so disrespectful or so incapable, so incapable of having the relationship with us that we want? Let me put it, that that is a beautiful statement. Thank you, Spirit. Why did we choose someone and why did we stay with someone that is incapable of having the relationship with us that we are craving and wanting? And then why, on top of that, did we feel that it was our job to help this person become the relationship partner we want. It, it very, very rarely works out because as people age, they don't become fine wine and champagne that appreciates. Mm -mm. They get more set in their ways and their habits. And so you, I want you really to think about, and, I, and I've had to do this. I've had to do this on more than one occasion. I took an inventory of the characteristics that my partners had, what they had in common, and then where did that come from in my childhood? And it's not that we're blaming our mother, father, cousin, uncle, sibling. It's that we're looking at what we are trying to fix via a partner. And why we think this is what's best for us. Because in a relationship, it's not a job. It's not a freaking job. Your relationship should not be your part-time job or become your part-time to full-time job. It's two people that want to be together and are working on becoming a partnership and understanding each other. Now, here's what a lot of us don't realize. There are people out there that are just playing the game to play the game to stay in the situation as long as they can and to get away with what they can while they are with you. So they pull out these, I'm, I need a break, we're done. Okay, now I'm back. I think I've punished you enough or you'll take me back. You've suffered enough and, and now you're not gonna 
you're you're not going to say anything because you know I'll leave again, or if you I, I'm gonna I'm gonna blame it on this so you just feel sorry for me. These are tactics. I think somebody wrote a freaking book teaching men how to do this because I cannot tell you the number of people that are coming to me with this type of person in their life. I, I swear to goodness, whoever wrote that book, if there's karma, you're coming back as a dung beetle for like a million freaking lives. I swear to God, you are, there's just, but what I want to say to you, when we have a partner that we feel now, first of all, this isn't your perfect person. This isn't your fantasy person. This is your fixer upper. It's not your new build home. It's your person that you're, you're trying to fix. So that you, if you knew everything about this guy, right before you met him you wouldn't have said give me some of that i need a second helping of that i i'm good that that is my dream partner but because you invested a little bit and as we know women once we've been intimate with a man three times we are bonded to them like it or not, that's why we look at women and we look at their partner and we're going, what the heck happened there? What were you thinking? What were you drinking? What were you thinking and drinking? Because by the third time, our, uh, our what we our, all of our chemistry and our body bonds us to them. So that's number one. But number two, please think about if you were starting over, would this be the horse you would bet on in the race? This wouldn't even be the horse you would pick. You wouldn't even say this horse could run the race. So please consider these things. I know it's it sounds so harsh and it sounds like something, it, it, it's just facts. There are men out there that do want to be in a relationship and work on it and try. And I know it's not easy to just cut because we feel like once we're invested in somebody, men and women, that we're supposed to save them. And that's what they're banking on, that we're supposed to fix them. Not our job. We're supposed to be their partner. It's supposed to be mutual. We're supposed to have give and take and somebody who's actually right there with us, right there with us. And when you're in a relationship with someone who's wanting to be in that relationship, who's moving forward in that relationship with you, planning a future and working on themselves actively and listening to you and changing, that's the person you're supposed to be with. And I hope that's helpful for everybody, for everybody. But I, I am going to tell you whoever is teaching people to behave like this or whatever, because the similarities, I'm going to tell you the similarities, there must be some private club that these people belong to because their behaviors are so similar that even the things they do, even the things they say, <clears throat> it's crazy to me. I can't, I can't imagine. But anyway, I hope that's helpful. I'm going to move on now. Thank you so much for that. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go to 401. For, oopsie. 401, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Carrie. I'm calling from Rhode Island. Hey, Carrie. How can I help you today? Uh, well, I'm just tuning in. I um, I definitely resonated with the songs that you had mentioned uh, in the beginning. Two of which I believe were Beatles. Well, one was the Beatles song, the first one, and then I think the Woman song is by John Lennon. So yeah. I resonated with that. My father, he's a spirit. Um, <laughs> actually, growing up, he had a Beatles cover band that he used to play in with his brother um, at local like 
universities or whatnot, he was a drummer. I <laughs> love that. I, I just, love you know, that. kind of caught me off guard <laughs> with that, um, which is nice because his anniversary just passed and my birthday is coming up. So, um, you know, I'm not really sure if I had a specific question, but relationship wise, um, much like your last call, sort of have been in a situation with someone and it, it still lingers here and there, but at the same time, I'm you know, honoring myself more and, um, you know, need to find one that serves me the best. So that might be why I'm resonating with those thoughts and my dad may be leading me to them today. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm, and I'm so happy that you called in. What's your dad's first name, love? Don. Don. Okay. So let me, let me, let me see if I can connect with your dad. And I'm just going to get a message from him, if I can, about um, <clears throat> where you are and what, what your next best step might be as far as relationships go. Because I, I think you know, we just think it's a different time in a different way. And it's really, there There are really good people out there. So what I'm going to say to you is your dad, yep. Okay, so the first thing that I'm hearing is it doesn't have to be the way it is. The moment that you think of yourself in a better way, everybody will think of you in a better way. But more importantly, <laughs> Jesus, you're not Bob the Builder. None of us are Bob the Builder. You <laughs> had a great sense of humor. <laughs> None of us are Bob the Builder. If we buy a new home, a new built home, it's not that we built it. It was already good from the beginning, from the jump. <laughs> We are not. Oh my gosh, he is hilarious. Um, so the next... He was about the builder. He was funny. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. So the next thing that he would say is let go of what's not working so you can get to what will work. And I love that message. And I think that fathers need to, like, really at every age instill that in their daughters and their sons because mm -hmm. that is so important um it, it just it's a it's a truth and it's a fact and it is absolutely 100 percent so important thank you so much my love for calling in and and happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday um eat the cake that's, that's thank you so much <laughs> you are so welcome i hope you have an amazing birthday love thank you thank you you are welcome you are okay i'm going to go to the next question on um online okay so olga wants to know it, who it, if the name of the person uh, sending her the evil eye. I get no. I want to remind everybody, we had a very, very intense full moon yesterday in Capricorn at 29 degrees. I don't know a lot about astrology, but according to all the astrology peeps, they're saying that is endings. 29 degrees is the degree of endings. So, um, and intensity, Capricorn can be um, intensity, I don't know a lot about Capricorn, but <clears throat> what I'm going to say is this full moon that we experienced, most of us experienced last night, um, was very intense. Olga, um, don't, here's, here's what else I'm going to say. There are a lot of people that feel like there is magic, witchcraft, so on and so forth being used against them, evil eye, and they send it back. I'm going to compare this to a snowball or on a hill or an energy ball. Let's use energy ball. When, when somebody sends something to us, maybe somebody's talking negatively and we feel that and we send it back, we send it back bigger and then they can send it back bigger. And then all of a sudden you have this huge negative ball of energy going back. Don't, don't send it back. Send it into the ethers to be dissolved and then shine light on all of it. You don't have to shine light on the person, especially if your heart is not ready to be there yet, but shine light on everything involved so that it can heal, 
so that the back and forth, the evil eye, everything stops. Remember, light dissolves or makes darkness disappear. So when you put light on anything that is sent with darkness or dark intention, when you turn on a light in a room, all the darkness is gone, okay? Bring light in and have the light take care of it. And just ask that everything is healed in all directions. That's my answer to that. Okie dokie, I'm gonna to go to the next caller on the call log who is 678, 678, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Sonia and I'm calling from Georgia. How can I help you today, love? Um, I'm calling because I have a, a, a roommate living with me. Um, I don't know them all that well, but I know them and because she used to buy um, clothing for me. And I just want to know, I just been doing weird vibes, like, um, just weird vibes. If everything's okay, I just want to know if everything's okay and if I'm doing the right thing because I'm trying to help them out. Okay. Um, the first thing, I, I know this is a song and I can't sing the song because I don't know the beat. Well, I can't sing, number one, but that's okay. Um, but there's a song and in the song, it says jealousy and I'm not singing it on the right tune or tone or beat or anything. You, oh, Backstabbers, that's the song. But Backstab, do you know what song I'm referring to? Any, well, even if you don't, it's okay. <clears throat> the main message of this is um, sometimes when you help people out, as grateful as they might be in the moment, eventually they might get jealous of your situation and feel entitled to more. I would, if the message I'm getting from you and I see a woman stepping in and I know this is, I feel like this is a grandmom stepping in for you. She was, this woman was very full figured, very, she was a little, she was a little healthy in her size or bigger in her size. Do you know who I'm referring to? Um, my grandmother is full figured. Your grand, I'm sorry, you need to speak up. Love, love, you need yes. to speak up a little bit. Um, my grandmother was full figure. I didn't yeah. know my um, father's mother. It's okay. This woman is very, she's full. She's a full woman. Um, and she's stepping in and she's speaking for you. And there are other women um, behind her that are i believe her sisters or her mom but her li your lineage your ancestors are up here with her and they are saying give this person a time limit don't let this be like oh until you get back on your feet do not do that be you need to say listen I'm, I'm going to give you two weeks or one month, and then you have to move on. Make sure there is a clear cut time limit, okay? Um, and as okay. much as you might want to help someone, and that's very kind and loving of you, sometimes people can either A, take advantage or start to get too comfortable or whatever it is. Give them a time limit, send them to resources that will help them. And then at that time limit, you have to cut it. Don't, I'm also hearing, don't let them put, don't let them get their mail at your house. And this is why, and this is why. Once somebody receives mail, at your home, they're considered a tenant or a resident, and you can't just kick them out. Okay, they have then the okay. right, they have to be literally evicted to be put out. 
So for what I'm hearing for you is as much as you might want to help these people, you're going to have to be strong and you're going to have to give them a time limit and you're going to have to put that, you know, get them to agree to that and get them on a road to self-sufficiency. I'm going to say this. The statement is not give somebody a fish. The statement is teach somebody to fish. Give them a certain amount of time and then get them on their out the door on their feet and out the door for yourself and for your well-being and your home um i do feel like they might not be i'm trying to really put the words the the right words to this i just feel like they might not know or understand how to fully appreciate an opportunity, but instead look at it as a handout that they can take advantage of. And sometimes when you help somebody, people just think, well, they got it. It doesn't matter. It's okay. We can, we can take advantage of this because they've got it. And the truth is, maybe you don't, you're just trying to be a good person. But even if you do have it, it doesn't mean it has to go to them. Okay. okay. So I know that that's a lot. And I do feel like this is your home. Keep your home safe and protected. And if I'm being honest, your grandma is saying, get them go, get them, go get them going, get them gone, get them on the road. This is, this is not, um, and I don't know why I'm hearing the statement pest control, but that's what I'm getting, love. Uh, I feel like just give them a time limit. Let them know that there is a time limit. And after that point in time, it's they have to figure something else out. You're just you're giving them an opportunity to find another place. This isn't like they get to stay as long as they want. OK, sweetie P? Okay, thank you. You are so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the day. If you'd like to call in and ask a question, the call in number is 845 277 9131. Please remember to push the one on the keypad so I know that you have a question. Okay. Will Philip and I? have a lasting relationship. Crystal, Crystal. There's a lot of relationship stuff that goes on around full moons. That's all I can say. Okay, Crystal, what I'm going to say is it will be a longer relationship for you. I can never guarantee happy ever after in a relationship. But what I can tell you is that this has the potential to be a longer term relationship for you. Now, sometimes when I say that to people, um, they uh, make assumptions or they do things differently. Just keep everything going smooth and easy um, and it will be good. OK, I am going to scroll up again. Oh, Elsa. I'm going to do Elsa real quick because I like this. I really would like a message from my dad, Erwin. He's on the other side. Okay, Elsa. The first thing that he would like to say to you is, um, I feel like, he, I don't know if English was his first language, but he's saying much love, many love. Um, let her know I have a much love for her or many love for her. And then the next um, question, I, I or the next thing I'm seeing, these should be in some way confirmations or something like I'm seeing a long stem red rose. So this means either this means something between the two of you from the past. He knows you like roses or when you see roses, those are a sign from him. 
um, I don't know why he's saying this, but Beetlejuice. <laughs> I don't know, Elsa. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. And again, that doesn't have to mean something to him. It could mean something to you or both of you. Um, the next thing that I'm getting from your father is time. Time. I'm seeing a like a, 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 a watch. It could be a pocket watch or a wrist watch. And I hear time. Time. And pointing, pointing at the watch. Time. So I see all these, these, I actually see clocks like grandfather clocks and watches and those, those, those pocket watches, a watch you would be on a chain and slip in your pocket, but pointing at a wristwatch and saying time, please let me know if that means something to you or him or what that could mean. If you know, the next thing that I'm getting and hearing is, um, And Elza, for whatever this means, the sun and the moon are equal. Keep them that way. Now, I always look at the sun and the moon as um, maybe the male and the feminine, the masculine and the feminine, the um, yin and the yang. They're equal. Keep them that way. So whatever that means to you, and it could mean day and night, keep them, keep them equal, keep them, whatever that means for you, I try, I, I, I shouldn't be giving it meaning because it's, it's your, the sun and the moon are equal, keep them that way. That's the message. And that should mean something to you, Elsa. And then I'm going to do one more. I, I love you. 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 When I said I was going to do one more message, that's all he wanted to say was that he loves you. I hope that makes sense. I will try to get further down in the um, chat to see if uh, any of those confirmations make sense. Um, if you do want to call in and ask a question, 845-277-9131. Is the call in number? Uh, uh, there we go. We're going to take care of that. Um, the call in number today is 845 277 9131. I'm not using my phone today because uh, the, the, the log is open. Um, Uh, Paul, can you please give me your mom's first name and I will be happy to try to get a connection for you. Uh, I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Hey, Genevieve. Hey, Chandrel. Uh, um, hey, Fawn. How are you? Here we go. I think this is a new question. I thought I was going to miss you. I figured out who Doug was, an old landlord of ours. I think any messages from my parents, Pete and Bernice. Thank you again. Okay, Pete or Bernice for Elizabeth. You know, the first thing that's coming through is like those, you know, the skirts, the longer skirts that they had in with this, um, I hear sock hop. So like the longer skirts that went mid calf, that kind of A-lined and the white button down top and the ankle socks. That's and dancing. That's the first vision I have, whether that's your grandparents or your parents. That's the first vision I get. The next thing that, and who, it's a light blue skirt with a white button down short sleeve top and um, like dirty blonde hair, maybe. Dirty blonde, I think that's what they would call it. Um, and then, and, and, and it, they don't have to look like that. 
that can just be a representation of something for you, Elizabeth. The first thing that I'm getting for you, Elizabeth, is to take your time with what you're doing so that it has longevity. Take your time and take the steps correctly so it has longevity. Don't try to push it too, too fast, too far too fast because it just needs to have longevity. So if you do it and you take your time, it's going to be a good thing, okay? Okay. I'm gonna go to goodness gracious. Hey, Tony, any info about meeting my most compatible person soon? Um, Anita, Anita, when is Anita going to meet someone? Her most, I'm going to say your long-term relationship. You know, funny when I was saying the first, just asking, I heard August, but then as soon as I said long-term, I heard September and I feel like it now timeline lines can change. Um, we're talking about another person. You both have to be, you know, in the same place, same time, meeting each other, so on and so forth. I hear that it's going to be September, maybe into October, but more September. And I see 18th. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to meet the person on the 18th, but just keep that date in mind, circle it or, you know, mark it to know. I feel like, is she going to meet this person? organically yes online no you're not going to meet this person online i do feel like you are going to meet this person and it's going to have a sense of um kismet to it a sense of meant to be to it um i do feel like when you meet this person well she I feel like you're going to have uh, a lot in common. Okay. So what I would say based on that is be out and about, show up to things during that time frame, so that you can mm, be in that space with it. Okay. And, and be out and about uh hey chandrell again i i'm some people have commented more than once so i'm trying to go down to um i'm gonna go to this misunderstood will this be a good time to move to dallas will this year be a good time to move to dallas i hear two things instantly yes instantly like i'm going yes Get your ducks in a row, get your ducks in a row, get your ducks in a row. Me, and if I take that a little further, meaning not only from where you are, but where you're going, make sure everything is lined up where you're going. I'm really sorry, you guys. They're doing apparently some sort of street construction right outside of my house. <laughs> right, right outside. They're doing some sort of like tearing up part of the, the road. I don't, I don't know, but, um, so I'm sorry if you guys hear that. Um, what I'm going to get your ducks in a row, make sure everything is organized, ready to go. When you make that, when you pull that, pull that final, you know, when you make that final, when you say, okay, yes, we're doing it. And you, everything is going to go very quickly. So start prepping things now, start getting things ready now, start lining things up now and make sure that when you, you have everything lined up for when you get there and be working with legitimate companies, no direct rent, no direct buy, like work with legitimate companies, um, And I, I did say this in another another show, but I'm just, it bears repeating. Don't get scammed. If, if you're going there and you're going to rent or you're going to buy, don't get scammed. Make sure it's legitimate. You're legit. You're legitimately working with the right people. That's the one thing I'm hearing. There's a lot of different 
ways for people to whatever, but, but do that. Um, so yes, yes. And yes. And that's your message. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to go there. I'm going to try to get through as many as I can today. I'm going to go to the next, um, this call. 216, what's your name and where are you calling from? This is uh, Desmond calling from Cleveland. Hey, Desmond, how can I, can I, how can I help you today? Yes, do you uh, see me and Robin uh, hooking up? this lifetime or it's not in the it's not in the cards this lifetime. I'm so I'm so sorry Desmond. I'm just cracking up because could you clarify hooking up please for every for everybody listening for every woman listening could you please clarify hooking up for me? Oh I guess uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> <laughs> well, I, guess, I don't think we're gonna get. I don't think we'll be together for you know. I don't think the lifetime partner probably just temporary. So. Yeah, here's what I'm gonna tell you, Desmond. Um, if you're genuinely just wanting to get shook up on the hookup, don't do it. Um, it won't be worth it. And you know, I know that men look at it so differently sometimes than some women do. But um, the uh, w here's the exact statement I'm hearing for you, Desmond. The risk won't be worth the reward. Whatever that means for you and for her and for where this could, should, would go, um, I'm hearing it's it just it, like swipe left or whatever way you would swipe to not let that. I don't know. I'm not on any of those things, but I just hear like swipe it. Let it go. Move on to something that's a little bit more genuine. Um, and here's what I'm going to say, Desmond. I'm going to I'm going to put you on hold for a second here, and I'm just going to say this: um, when you lay down, sit down, back seat, front seat, uh, when you're in somebody's energy, especially intimately, especially intimately, you are taking on their energy you are taking on, you're allowing their energy in yours. And when you do that, you are allowing whatever's in their energy in your energy and vice versa, okay? So when you're dealing with people who are injured, you're taking on that injured energy or caretaker energy or whatever it is. When you are laying down with someone who maybe drinks, parties, blah, 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 you're taking on that energy. And it's really interesting when you do that, you know, what you have to clear away that's not yours afterwards. So it's what I'm just hearing for you, whether it's, um, no matter what kind of STI or STD it is, um, or or just the problems that you know the the headache it would cause, it's just not worth it. the The risk is not worth the reward, is what I'm hearing. Um, and I think you know, just even if you're honest and say, "Listen, this is just casual. This is just a hookup." Just put it in your hand. I don't know if that's all it is just do that just do that i don't know that's my personal take on it um if you do this you will have regrets about it that's what i'm hearing for you um so you might want to reconsider even thinking about it and move in a new direction is what i'm going to say for that okay uh i'm trying to find somebody who has not asked a question yet so i'm gonna go here i think ziggy is 528 hertz heart solar tone come through youtube channels all right some of them yes um you know i'm i'm going to say this um is some of them yes 
I, I'm really careful of what I listen to on YouTube because sometimes they put subliminal messaging in the back of their their frequency things or their whatever. And I just don't want that personally. If I'm going to listen to a Hertz tone, I want to make sure it's pure and clear. So you can get a pretty inexpensive tuning fork for at 528 and the other um, numbers, Hertz, if you will. Um, pretty inexpensive that you know is pure and clean and then you can also feel the frequency while you are using it okay i hope that helps um hey sal let's see what sal says aging not fine wine <laughs> pretty good tasting vinegar <laughs> sal you're so funny i love that one sal thank you um and then let's go. Uh, okay, finding a new question, you guys. Looking for a new question on here. If I skipped your question, I really do apologize. Please forgive me. There's a lot of uh, messages here. And I am trying to have new like if you already asked a question to find a new name that maybe did not ask a question um casey casey please tell me what um what you the name of someone i'm sorry i casey i feel like there's a grandmother and a great grandmother around you all the time and um, I feel like there's a grandmother and a great grandmother around you at all times. So those two are definitely around you at all times. And Chandrel, I think I answered a question for you. I only uh, answer one question per show. I am here every Monday at 11 and Wednesday at 7 p.m. East, uh, Central Time for both of those. So if you want to come back and ask another question at that time, that's fine. I try to make sure I can get as many people as possible in one show. So I don't answer uh, multiple questions in one message. And I don't answer um, if you're if you if I've already answered a question, I'm, I'm going to try to go to new people and answer their questions. Hey, Patrick, how are you today? Um, Ani is saying, I want to start a business on mental health and I am facing blockages. I want to take, I want to ask, is this the right thing to do or am I not supposed to pursue? Um, right thing, wrong way. So what I'm getting is there, the way you, you're, you have the right idea, but you might be doing it in the wrong way, either the wrong modality, the wrong place, the wrong people, the wrong type. Kind of look at how you want to present this or how you want to do it and work with that. That's what I'm getting. It's the right idea, but you may be doing it maybe not in the best way possible. Okay, love? Um, 90 seconds. Okay. I'm sorry for your loss, Casey. I hope I'm saying your 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 name correctly. Okay, everybody, 90 seconds left. Please know I will be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central. I also have my program uh, this Saturday. If you're interested, you can go to my website, T O N I G. And it will give you the details on the program. Other than that, you guys, thank you so much for being here with me.